Hi friends, David here from Above AVL and Learn Stage Lighting. And this bright dot of light right above my head means that we're gonna talk about gobos. So gobos are patterns that go into lights and particularly when you're working with moving headlights, you often have some choices as to your gobos. And I want this to be kind of a idiot's guide or a complete guide to choosing and using gobos in a moving light. We've got here ourselves today, the color key mover spot 150s that we're playing around with. And we got one pointed right there. And we also have one from the front camera or the same one, we can see it pointing sideways, which is gonna be helpful as well. Okay, so when it comes to using gobos, there's two ways you can use gobos. It's really that simple. One is you can look at how it looks through the air in haze. And number two is you can look at how it looks on a surface. Usually you're optimizing for one of those two above the other. Okay, let's talk about projecting on a surface first. So here I am in this fixture and I've got it open to its gobo wheel. And the first thing you're gonna see, of course, is that we need to go ahead and focus it, which on these WMX consoles is in the position tab, because if you change position, the focus will change. And we got that pretty sharp there. I think it wants to be just a little bit further away from the wall. We're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Awesome, so we got that happening. And uh, so we we see it on the wall there and let's just move it maybe a hair. It's a little bit easier to see spot. I know we're casting a shadow down the middle of it there. It's not perfect, but it's gonna be just fine. Yeah, I think I like it better over there. Okay, so. Ignore the circle through it, but you know, you essentially, when you're shooting on a surface, you're gonna look for gobos that look like this, that are kind of a little bit more complex in the actual shape on the surface, similar to the dots gobo. You know, looks really good on surface stars. Gobos like this, the cone gobo, are gonna be the ones that are optimized for projection through the air. Like if you see, if we pop over to the front camera at the same time, you see, okay, like, this dots one through the air, it looks okay, but the cone looks epic. And it'll look even better just for kicks if we we go ahead and change the position on these. I don't know what these positions are. Um, so we'll just take this one and we're gonna modify it. Oh man, that always looks so good when you do that. Um, but literally, you know, this cone gobo looks epic down here. This dots gobo, it looks okay, or the stars, the dots, they look okay. But something like the cone, where it has a lot less going on, there's a lot of blank space and just some light with gaps between it, really sharp edges, that's the kind of stuff that looks really awesome through the air. And uh, when you do send it through the air, the focus point is gonna be different than on the surface. So you wanna go and adjust and go, okay. And that's why the WMX puts focus in the position, because you see right there, I've got it so sharp that right, Oops, whoop. right there, I can see the break in the gobo, right? I can see the point where we have it when we're over here, where we see the breaks within that gobo, within that ring. I actually see that in the air. And that's how I know I've got it focused great because I can see those tiny breaks. And so there's really, as I mentioned, two kinds of gobos. There's ones that are aimed more for projecting onto surfaces like these. You know, they, they look okay through the air, but they really don't look amazing, right? And then there's those that are more busy, as noted, that look better on those surfaces, okay? Now, what else do you need to know about gobos? Every light should have, is going to probably have multiple gobos in the sense of this color key fixture. There is a rotating wheel and there is a non-rotating wheel. And so you wanna be aware of that, okay? Um, each will have its different facets. Each will have things that are, you know, gobos that are on it, okay? Obviously the ones on the rotating ro wheel can rotate. The ones on the fixed wheel tend to, in most fixtures, be a little bit more geared towards through the air aerial projections, more so than shooting on a surface. Again, not a hard and fast rule, but in general. And of course those ones are able to rotate 
And so I'll actually go, just for an example, let me go to the live edit page here in this WMX and do the gobo there. It's a little easier to get to. As noted, you know, we went through the non-rotating, but then like any good light, are also rotating gobos, and in this case, they are definitely rotating. So as mentioned, the rotating gobos, like this one that's got hearts on it, they generally look better projected, and like we're seeing here, this one's actually a colored gobo, and so you'll see that sometimes on rotating wheels. Those are glass gobos as opposed to metal, if they have the color. And so I'll just go ahead here and knock the color out this way, and we say, oh, okay, that's what's going on there. See if we can get it to focus. We're a little too close to focus that wheel in full on this light, but you get the idea. So now we can say, okay, we've got some different gobos here. These ones generally look better on surfaces, but don't close your mind to it. Because for example, this one has multiple colors and actually looks really stinking awesome when we go in the air. And you can see that here in this shot. It's like, okay, you know what? Uh, even if, and let me go and just adjust the brightness on this down. Even if it's a gobo that's on the rotating wheel that's generally geared for surface projections, sometimes when they got color in them, like this one and this one's that swirl, it's kind of asymmetrical. You can see how awesome this looks through the air. Okay, so what did we learn today? Essentially, there's a few types of gobos. There's rotating gobos and non-rotating. On your rotating wheels, sometimes they're glass. A lot of them are metal, just depends on your fixture. And they can be used individually. You can also layer them together in some fixtures and that works really well and actually run the focus between them to do what's called morphing. We're not getting into that today, but in general, um, the simpler patterns, the ones that have a lot of space between them that are generally on your fixed gobo wheels, those are gonna be best for shooting through the air. And the more complex ones are generally best for shooting onto a surface. But like we learned right here with this gobo, there are no hard and fast rules. As always, only guidelines. Um, anything artistic lighting is just that. There are no rules or they're meant to be broken if there are. And so I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did and you know you like what you see here, then hey, we help people get the lights they need as well as audio equipment and more every single day over at AboveAVL.com. Feel free to just write in to Gear at Above AVL, add some stuff to your cart and request a quote. Um, or just buy stuff. We love to help people and we love to help people get a personalized price when they write it. So reach out for a quote. We love to help you find exactly what you need and help you get it. And if we can help you with anything and let you see the difference of a caring team that really loves to just help people find stuff, then we would love to work with you. We'll see you guys over on the site. Thanks.